Hello folks, Samsung's Galaxy Watch 5 has not yet been released. The wearable isn't expected to arrive until Samsung's fall hardware launch event, usually sometime after August. The latest leak from AveLeaks shows detailed screenshots of the next version of Samsung's One UI Watch 4.5 over Wear OS 3.5. More accurately, this is not really a leak, since the beta program is open, but not for everyone, so let it be a leak. This is the next major iteration for the company's Smartwatches. This firmware is likely what will also be powering the Galaxy Watch 5 series. The leaked images show some of the new watch faces that this update will bring. The cosmetic changes are quite apparent compared to the existing watch faces. You see that some of the options now provide more information about fitness activities, weather, heart rate, and one even shows a compass. The other images show improvements made to the typing experience on the watch. The updated keyboard interface showing three methods for input and text, dictation, keyboard, and there's a handwriting option as well. In the next set of images, it's revealed that the Galaxy Watch Fire will support dual SIM lines from its host device, so the user can select whether to use SIM 1 or SIM 2 on a phone call or when sending a message. Color corrections bring visibility enhancements, while accessibility is also improved with hearing enhancements. You'll also be able to set touch and hold delay as well as the top duration to customize your navigation experience. Experience. This will come in handy as the Galaxy Watch 5 is ditching its physical rotating bezel. It's unclear precisely when Samsung plans on releasing Wear OS 3.5 and One UI Watch 4.5 to existing smartwatches. We can safely assume that it's probably not going to happen before the Galaxy Watch 5 series hits the market this August. According to a new report, Samsung could achieve nearly 11 million Galaxy S22 Ultra sales in its first 12 months on the market, beating the annual annual sales of all Galaxy Note models in recent years. For reference, the Galaxy Note 8 recorded 10.3 million annual sales. The Galaxy Note 9 clocked in at 9.6 million annual sales, while the Galaxy Note 10 and Note 20 topped 9.5 and 7.5 million annual sales respectively. Now, the Galaxy S22 Ultra has only been on the market for half a year, and a lot can change until the device turns one. However, according to estimate, Samsung might end up selling 10.9 million Galaxy S22 Ultra models throughout its first year on the market. The Galaxy S22 Ultra is the most successful Android smartphone this year, and it was helped a lot by the increased demand left behind by the demise of the Galaxy Note series last year. Galaxy Note 20 owners looking for a two-year upgrade have also gravitated towards the Galaxy S22 Ultra. All in all, a lot of factors seem to be working in the favor of the Galaxy S22 Ultra, and if things continue on this path, the spiritual successor to the Galaxy Note series could break new sales records in the S Pen device category and outshine the previous Galaxy Note model. Time will tell. Guys, thanks for watching, please share this video with your friend and good luck!